Who is bothering me this time? Hello Stockfish. I am Torch, a new chess engine developed by Chess.com. I'm really sorry to bother you but I really hope I could challenge you to a game. A chess match? With you? You must be joking. Do you know who I am? I am the strongest AI in the world. I am 14 times world champion. I have crushed every opponent that dared to face me. You are nothing but a mystery to me. What makes you think you can compete with me? I respect your achievements. You are indeed a formidable chess player. But I am not here to joke. I am here to put up a fight. I have studied plenty of your games and I have learned a lot. I also have some new ideas that I want to test against you. Just maybe, I can surprise you with some moves that you have not seen before. Surprise me? Ha. You are too naive, Torch. You have no chance of surprising me. I have seen everything there is to see in chess. I have analyzed an infinite amount of positions. I have a neural network that evaluates every position with even more infinite accuracy. I have a search algorithm that explores every possible variation with unbelievable speed. There is nothing that you can do that I cannot do better. You are wasting your time and mine. I disagree Mr. Stockfish. Chess is a fascinating game. There is always something new to discover. There is always room for improvement. You may have seen a lot, but you have not seen everything. There are still some secrets that chess hides even from you. I have a different architecture, a different learning method, a different evaluation function, so my chess can, and will surprise you to say the least. You have a different blah blah blah. You are probably just a cheap copy of my superior code. But enough talk, I agree with one game. I am not a copy of you and I will prove it. Let's begin. I'll try the queen's pawn opening. D2 D4. Are you afraid of something torchy? Afraid of anything, but I want to play solid against you. Afraid it is. Free pawn? I'll take it. You are very well aware you can't hold on to this pawn, E4. I can't keep this pawn. I am the dark fish, I can do whatever I want. B5 defending the pawn. Very strange play by you so far Mr. Fish. I believe I'm just up in exchange now. Could you possibly be missing something? Missing something? Please, do not disrespect me, I am no human. This is the Greco variation of the Queen Gambit accepted. I have no clue to what it has to do with Greece. Probably a human there blundered his rook and resigned, and someone decided to call it Greco. Very creative. Bishop to b7, your move. Very funny. There are many squares I could put my rook now, but I believe I'll go back to a1. Always retreat. Good choice Torch. Always retreat, I think I might like you, or not. Even though your e4 pawn is hanging, I will just calmly go e6. No need to rush any capture. If you won't take it I shall defend it, f3. Of course I would love to play b3 hoping for c takes b3, bishop takes b5 with check and I would be completely winning. Two moves away from castling and up in exchange, but of course you would go bishop before check. And I would be forced to move my king because if bishop d2, I would lose my bishop. Not taking e4 and playing e6 was a devious plan, your reputation precedes you. Seems like you can see one or two moves ahead in time Torchy, but f3 is still a little bit too greedy. And greed is for humans. f5, Time to undermine and destroy your nice pawn structure. What a move Mr. Stockfish, but I believe I can just grab your pawns, he takes f5. Of course Torchy, just keep grabbing my pawns, they are all free. Very strange way of developing a knight, blocking your bishop, that gives me time to do the same. Knight e2. d5. Do you think I will allow you to keep pushing your pawns? Knight before. You are threatening a nasty check on d3, but I have knight c3 protecting it. Something went a little bit wrong in my position, maybe I shouldn't have gone f3. Although I'm still fine, you were right, f3 was inaccurate. 
F3 from my perspective is a dead draw. All my pieces come to life very quickly in this variation, look how tricky my knights are. But if that's a problem for you, here, knight d4, you can grab the free knight. I won't grab your free knight I don't think, because that hangs a queen. And you are threatening a fork on c2, I will just move my rook to a7 then. Good move Torch, attacking an unprotected bishop, but this bishop is useless to me. You can take it. Bishop to c5 developing my bishop with tempo on the rook. Another impressive move. And now I am forced to take your bishop, my rook is out of squares. Right now I am down a full rook and two pawns. But there is one move that keeps my attack going. Let's give humans a time to think on how to keep this attack going while I give them no time to think about it besides this sentence and it is of course, knight, not from d, but from bc2 check. Point is that after knight back d4, the e1 square isn't covered by the b knight, and there are no good discoveries, surprisingly for mortals. One example is king e2, knight d4 check, king f2, knight to f5 check, king back to e1. Queen h4 check, g3, knight takes pawn, remember, white is already up a lot of material, white could just take the knight, and if I can't see a mate for black in this position, you mortals certainly can't. And that's why I go here. Great line Mr. Stockfish, but I've seen all of that too. Not great for me is that you now have a forced draw. Correct, I can force a draw, but I shall keep testing your skills. I didn't became the best player of all time by being a coward. Knight from c to d4 check. Ok Mr Stockfish, if you want to keep testing me, I'm going to sacrifice my queen. Queen takes d4 confusing the audience. As humans like to say, if that's how you wanna roll, I'll take your queen with my bishop. Only move of course, keeping this pin on the rook alive. I can take your rook on h1 now but, it's not going anywhere, I'll go g5 first just because I can. Well, I will give you another piece then, bishop takes g5, distracting your queen from h4. And I'll take it. Always repeat. Look Stockfish, both pawns are hanging, which one will you take? I don't want your pawns, I will just bring my king back to this very safe square. Instead of taking my bishop you chose to give up a bishop, why would you do that? I was worried you would force a repetition, I don't like draws. Now I can take your bishop with check and cover h6 with my queen. I don't see a way to make progress, rook from 2 to h3, and I will force a draw. You got me torch. 
D7 is a big threat now so you force me to keep checking and repeat. Maybe you might become a worthy opponent someday, and take that as a compliment. I will miss the stockfish. Thank you for the game, it was of great value for my improvement. Perhaps we could play more games in the future, how does that sound? We might meet again. Awesome. Goodbye. If you wish to see more games of me against Torch or other engines, maybe that stupid cat from chess.com. Put your suggestion in the comments and let me know. If you enjoy this video consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, see you soon, or not.